Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming into the session today. Uh, this is really, you know, I would say a strategic session of a focused group of individuals who are here to learn more about a very important topic that I believe has just changed the entire landscape of college sports. Um, for those who don't know, my name is Melvin Coleman. I'm the president and CEO of the Atlanta Black Chambers. And uh, I'm excited and just really, you know, honored to have um, our guest speakers today. Um, the Georgia State University basketball program um, and, and the head coach, uh, brother coach Jonas Hayes, uh, but also coach Edwin. He's out there. And uh, I've just had the opportunity to really connect with them. A uh, shout out to Raquel Hill. Many of you know Raquel, um, one of the most important individuals in the leadership of the Atlanta Black Chambers. Uh, she approached me with this opportunity some months ago. And I said, wow, yeah, that's something we we, we got to do that. You know, this is uh, this makes sense for the chamber to be involved in this. And so thank her for, for putting this on the ABC table. But um, I am going to step away and let the subject matter experts <laughs> um, present to us, educate us, um, make us understand or help us understand what are the next steps to actually take this opportunity uh, and really become engaged and make it happen. So I am very excited to, I guess, turn it over to Coach Jonas Hayes and, and uh, Coach Edwin and however you brothers are going to do your thing. Um, good to see both of you. Good to see you too. Appreciate it. Edwin, I'll let you go ahead and start off the thing, but let me let me go off and first off say how appreciative I am for you guys at 1130 or so on a Wednesday morning to take out a little time out of your schedule uh, to come listen to us banter about for a few minutes. But uh, it is it's much appreciated. Much love to all you guys. Thank you so much, guys and gals. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. And I want to echo that as well. Uh, I apologize. I am mobile, so I know this is. I know everybody's hearing me. Uh, I want to first of all say thank you to uh, uh, Melvin Coleman and the rest of you all, and a special thanks to Raquel, who is actually driving our presentation uh, this morning. So, uh, big shout out! And just to take a little bit of your time, want to be able to talk with you about the NIL process and specifically how we believe that you as uh, small black businesses and or entrepreneurs can partner with us. Um, I'm Edwin Turnipsey. I am the chief of staff for our men's basketball program. Uh, I went to undergrad at the University of Georgia and I've known Coach Hayes actually since he was an undergrad at the University of Georgia. So it's my humble pleasure to kind of serve, serve with him as we move this men's basketball program to uh, a more, a bigger, a better uh, height. Um, the NIL process, okay, you can go to the next slide. Um, that That is basically the, I wanna make sure that everybody's seeing what I'm, okay. That talks a little bit about what the NIL process is. Hope you can see that. Um, in simplest forms, it's name, image, likeness. And we always say that because we don't want anybody to assume that they know what that means. Uh, it is name, image, likeness. And it's basically a term that describes the means by which college athletes are allowed to receive financial compensation. Now, we, Jonas and I say this all the time. We've, talk, we've, we've had this conversation now four times in the metropolitan Atlanta area. And we start off by saying that in the college landscape has changed. Uh, whether you agree with it or not, it has changed. And we jokingly say NIL allows for our athletes to be paid legally by use of their name, image, likeness. I, too, am a former Division I athlete, and I, too, remember the time when um, my name and others who were on my team, image and likeness, were being used, and the only person that would receive financial compensation was the university. So name, image, likeness allows for that student athlete to in, literally become a business brand of their own. And so when you look at the NIL at first glance, some people think that it, it's like the top 1% of NCAA athletes that are receiving these financial compensations. Well, that's not necessarily the case. 
Um, we, we know that, um, you know, people hear about the University of Georgia, they hear about Florida State, they hear about Oklahoma, they hear about Texas. And what they're doing, that's the top of the line. Here at Georgia State, what we're trying to do is really just create a space where our student athletes can actually benefit. We believe that Atlanta has the biggest and greatest economic ecosystem in the world. And we're, we are strategically located there. And so we want to use what we geographically have to our advantage for our student athletes. Um, NIL is open to all student athletes, all companies, big and small. So no matter where you are, we believe that the NIL infrastructure can benefit you as a business. The way that we talk about this, the next slide says, you go, you, know, you were perfect. That was perfect timing. Um, we believe the way that you can do this is supporting us through what we hope that each of you have, and that's your marketing dollars. The way that we um, talk about the NIL with small businesses is the use of marketing dollars. You know, our student athletes literally become your brand ambassadors, influencers, if you will. Um, we work with them on what that means. We've already started having conversations with them about how their brand is them and their other companies who can use their brand, brand, excuse me, to amplify their product. One of the ways we do that is we have a partnership with our collective. Our collective is called, it's called the NIL Collective, to be clear, all blue, all NIL. And so they actually run what we consider our influencer marketing campaigns for our student athletes. All blue, all NIL. But then we, they have contracted a third party called Matchpoint. And if you look on that screen, that party is the one that's responsible for brokering the contracts, uh, getting the taxes done for you as a small business, but also for our student athletes as well. Because we recognize that you're not getting into business with Georgia State men's basketball. You're getting in business with our NIL collective. Now, that the financial compensation does help us because it allows us to put money into our student athletes' pockets. Now, a couple of ways that we've done that is we are, we are allow, we, you're going to hear in just a second, we have two testimonials of businesses that, uh, small black businesses, I can be completely honest, that are already in that relationship with some of our student athletes. Um, they do things like social media market them, market for them, I'm sorry. Um, we've got, we've had uh, one of our current players who was actually at the site for what we consider an activation for one of our um, business partners. Um, he was actually modeling her clothes, if I can be completely honest with you. Um, and so we are actually in process with others. I got like six emails yesterday from our NIO director, Mike Holmes, who keeps me in the loop every single day about where we are in the process as we look at uh, acquiring more financial partners through the NIL Collective. Okay, you can go to the next slide. The next two slides, you know, I can stay here and talk to you all day. Uh, Jonas is gonna talk in just a second, but we wanted you to hear two personal examples of small entrepreneurs and how they've partnered with us. This first one is uh, Kayla's Italian Ice. Um, we had two players go to a six, Sweet 16 birthday party of the owner. Yes, the owner is 16 years old. But in it, what they did in that 16th birthday party was they actually launched a brand new product. And they used our student athletes and their influence to help amplify that message. Raquel, if you could hit that for me. Can't hear. Can y'all hear that? No sound. Yeah. Raquel, there's no sound. You might not be able to find that. Oh, it sounded like it was coming in. Hi, I'm yeah, Kayla Rock. And I'm Teresa, and we're the owners of Kayla's Italian Eyes. We had now? a wonderful opportunity with partnering with GSU players from basketball. 
and it was DK and A. They were professional and they're amazing. I brought them out to my Sweet 16 birthday party, which was also the release of our freezers that are going to be into retail. Yeah, and with that that collaboration, this would definitely help us as well as um, the team and the NIL program to invest in our players and our community and as well into our small businesses. So we want us to thank you so much for this collaboration. We think it's going to be awesome. Everyone love them and enjoy them at the party. We appreciate all the social media posts and engagement that we have received since they have been supporting us. And I feel that this would be a great opportunity for others as well. So thank you. Thank you, Raquel. You can go to the next slide and I'll talk for just a second. So again, I explained a little bit about what they were doing and you heard her talk about it. Now, this particular personal example of Yacht Club Access and Natasha Simmons is our founder CEO. If you look on the screen, that's, this is our student athlete that was actually modeling for her as she launched a new clothing line. If you could hit a play on that, Raquel. Hello, my name is Natasha Simmons, CEO and Creative Director of Yacht Club Access, a luxury sustainable swim and resort wear brand. We are super excited to be partnering with the GSU men's basketball team as it enhances YCA's visibility by associating with the respected athletic program. This collaboration also allows us to reach a wider audience. But additionally, it underscores our commitment to supporting local talent and community engagement aligning with our brand values and foster positive impact amongst the athletes. Thank you guys so much. And we look so forward to continuing our relationship. Thank you. Thank you, Raquel. We can go to the next slide. Now, um, I'm going to let Jonas talk in just a second. But I, what I want to say as, we, as, as I move out of the way and let him speak is that those two persons, literally now are actually sending us new businesses because of the work that our student athletes have done in amplifying their product. Uh, we're going to give you an opportunity to ask us any questions uh, at the conclusion of this. And right now I'm going to let Jonas come up and share a few words. Uh, thanks, Edwin. Thanks again, Raquel and Mevin, for giving us this platform. And I'm going to be just all the way honest with you. I am absolutely fired up every single time I see this because this speaks something that is speaking right to my spirit. And as, 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 a, as a product of Atlanta, born and raised in Atlanta, um, went to Douglas High School, Collier Heights Elementary, Usher Middle School. Uh, you never see, you, I never had the opportunity when I was these guys age to connect with, you know, uh, influential business owners that look like me, that are entrepreneurs that look like me and, and CEOs that look like me. And I've always said, I've always prayed that if God ever give me an opportunity to, um, to, to have a platform such as this, I'm going to connect you know, my locker room with influential black people that I think that can make an influence on our locker room. And NCAA has given us this opportunity to kind of join this. And I want to be, I want to be straight up and just as clear as I can be that I, I need this to be a two way street. All right. I, I'm not interested in having you guys support our, support our program. You not getting anything out of the deal. Um, that's what this is for. This is the true, uh, the true essence and the true meaning of what name, image, and likeness is, uh, and we can find synergies uh, in how we can help push your business while also helping the pockets of these young men who are going to school in the city of Atlanta. In the city of Atlanta, its cost of a, a, a living is is exploded, especially for a college student. Uh, and any time that that I can feel. Uh, that that I can connect the dots with my locker room and, and, and black businesses uh, like yourself. I think that's a that's an unbelievable, unbelievable opportunity. And for me, on the on the on the competitive end, it allows us to attract uh, a, a level of athlete that would allow us to to win at a certain level. Um, but it's my vow to you guys that everybody that's in my locker room, okay everyone that's in my locker room will be worthy of your support. Uh, and, and simply the ask, and, and I'm not one of those individuals that like to get a blue whale and ask one person for four, five hundred thousand dollars. That's, that's not what, that's not what our goal is. Our goal is just simply, you know, the, the floor of our ask is about $2,000. Um, but again, I want to reiterate, 
that we 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 are one thousand percent committed uh, to making this is a uh, this a two way street. Um, and Edwin, did I miss anything? No, I think. Edwin, I can't hear you. Yeah, he, he's frozen right now, so he will come back shortly. I I would think. Okay, Miss Jardine, I see you asked, do I only work with GSU? Yeah, uh, hey, yeah. Got it. Fortunately, uh, Miss Jardine, Miss Day. Um, the next slide, Rick, if you could go to that one. Um, yeah, if you can go to that one, it talks about um, uh, how you follow the collective on the all blue NIL and there's a picture of Jonas. Um, you just heard him talk about that. So, you know, we're, we're trying to make sure that people are understanding what this NIL uh, idea is and how the collective works. Um, and I think that with the next slide, Raquel, is just for us to be able to now, so, you know, we will be able to give you all this particular deck and or this page, but you see, we have QR codes here where if you want to start the process with us, it's more than more than happy. We actually put up two different links. One is a personal, if you say, hey, I just want to give personally to the collective to support what the Georgia State men's basketball team is doing through the NIL, you can click the one that is on your left. But if you're a business, you can click the one on your right. And what that does, it's the same thing, but you start a business profile. Um, and that really helps us uh, with our NIL collective as well as our match point to begin that process. One of the things that happens if you decide this is something that you want to do, the very next step is you create the profile and then you'll be able to get a phone call from um, our, our NIL owner. His name is Mike Holmes will begin that process. It's really a 30-minute customization. And what I mean by customization is we've had businesses say, I want to do it, but I'm not sure how this will benefit me as a business owner. Well, Mike will talk about how many activations, how many uh, social media posts. Maybe you want to do, we have one business that's actually beginning to talk about maybe doing a commercial. Um, all of those things we can customize to do. But we want to start off with the customization process with you, with our NIL collective. Um, I, I, I'm getting ready to conclude. So I, I know there are probably some questions that may, uh, that you may have. Uh, we'll be able to get those from the chat. But I want to simply say that your partnering with us, yes, we want it to benefit you. We want it to benefit your business. Uh, we want to amplify the product the service, whatever you want to do with our student athletes um, influence. Um, I can tell you that we are onboarding 10 new guys. Uh, I know their social media handles. I can tell you uh, we have one that's almost 4,000. We got another one that's close to 10,000 followers. Um, they live in that world. Um, they understand what it means to be a social media influencer or a brand ambassador. And so we're honing in on that every single day with them so that they can uh, be the best brand ambassadors they can for your particular product. Jonas, I'm done. Do you want to have any closing words? And then we'll open it up for uh, questions. You know, I think, I think we covered the, we covered the gamut. And uh, again, we could go into deeper detail if we can engage uh, some conversations uh, uh, away from the, over the phone or down at our offices. Uh, but just know we we are appreciative to, that you just you guys have chosen this time to to just to to inquire about what we what we trying to get going on. I know we're at the very uh, early stages of this, uh, but it's something I very much want to uh, want to build on. Atlanta is my home. That's where I intend on staying, and so I want to have as robust of a connection um, with this environment, uh, with this ecosystem. As I as I possibly can, because most of the, the 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 student athletes that I'm called upon to coach, they're gonna look just like me and uh, and all of us on this call, and so I, I, I I'm I'm committed to this. Yeah, so and, I'm actually I'm sorry. Go ahead, uh, Edwin. I was just gonna say there are a couple of you know pretty good questions in the chat. 
But uh, yep. but you go ahead and then you know we will get into the Q and A. No, 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 no. I, I, you were going exactly where I was. I'm actually in the chat, Melvin, right now looking. Um, I I see um, Miss Day. You have left a phone number, so we will make sure that we get you that. Um, do you only work with GSU? For us, yes. Uh, that's our head men's basketball coach. I am on staff with Georgia State, and we're specifically with men's basketball. Um, I see that Melvin responded, by, and I want to make sure everybody, Georgia State, we have 55,000 people who are students on campus. Um, Donors, what's the percentage of non-black, of, of, of black and brown students that graduate? Uh, it's the largest percentage of African American graduates in it, of any university in in the United States, uh, and so we I think the overall percentage of of of, of African American students on our campus is like forty two or forty three percent, and if you if you walk just a little bit on our campus, it would give you the feel of a traditional HBCU. It's that many people that look like us around. Uh, and when you are in a city that has a black male, you you are at a university with a, with a black president, uh, and you have these many you know black student athletes, black students really that are trying to find their way in the world to be situated in the city of Atlanta. That's a very very good time. Timing is really really right. And now for for student af student athletic um, perspective, the NCAA has given us this platform to expound on that, and that's kind of sort of the avenue we we're trying to uh, go down while also maintaining the integrity of it, this, this must be a two-way street. Um, and, and But it, it's, it's a significant opportunity for us, and I think it could be a significant opportunity for you guys as well. Yep, I would agree. I'm seeing a question, can we partner directly with a particular athlete, or do we just contribute to the team slash department in general? So the way it works for, for, for us is you would literally partner with the NIL Collective and specifically earmark your financial funds to men's basketball. And then that, when that comes through, Mike Holmes, who's the owner, and I, we get on the phone. And he, after he talks to the business, he says, okay, here's what they're looking for. Who do you think that would be best fit, fit? Who do you think from the basketball team, men's basketball team, that would be best fit for this? And he and I have a consultation process, and we do involve – uh, the business owner. I, I I had a Zoom call today is Wednesday, Monday morning, myself, Mike, and a business owner just ab about that specific um, idea. Because I do come in toward the latter end of it so I can understand what the business is asking for. So then then after that, Jonas and I, we then consult over which ones we think would uh, best uh, fit whatever the need is for that particular uh, business. Does the NIL agency handle men's and women's programs? Um, yes, but this again is specific for men's basketball. Thank you, Mr. Watson. What are the contract term durations? Six months, one year. Uh, we customize that. Um, I know that there are some who are doing six months. I know some are doing one year right now. Um, so again, after you have that customization conversation with Mike, our owner by NIO Collective, He'll work through those details with you. And it says, where can we get the scan code to start the process? That's what we love to hear. Um, and when could we set up a meeting with us? Um, if we can get that screen put back, and what, what I can do is I have those links. I can get those to Raquel and or Melvin, and then we can shoot them out. Um, they know they have my cell number, so if there's any problems with any of that, they can contact me directly. Believe me, I'm always on my phone, particularly with this process. Yeah. And, and Those are all the questions that are in the chat. Are there any that I may have missed? Right. So we got the uh, QR codes uh, back on screen. Um, your Dane has a question. Do you have to have an NCAA? What was that? I missed it. Do you have the NCAA license to use the GSU logo? That would be a conversation for our NIL uh, director. Uh, we've had some conversations. I know that we have access to the uh, all blue, all NIL logo. Um, but I also know that we he's, he's in daily conversation with our compliance office about any discrepancies. Again, I know this because I'm copied on every email. 
So we could talk through that if that's the need that is that uh, arises. And uh, let me state something very clearly uh, to give everyone a real sense of how important this is, how critical this is, uh, because they are operating in a very competitive environment. <laughs> so, you know, this is, they, they're coming here with an ass because it's just that critical in order for them to recruit the talent necessary to have a very successful competitive uh, basketball program. Uh, so I do want to make sure, you know, everybody understands that, that aspect of it. Uh, yeah, it's an opportunity for us as business owners to uh, employ, you know, these young men. Um, but it is also bigger than that, you know, Georgia State University coach Jonas Hayes and coach Edwin and, and the whole program, they want to be competitive. I mean, they represent Atlanta, you know, so they are going to need NIL resources. Uh, and that, and that, that is a big part of this. And I want to make sure you understood, you know, why, why the ask exists and how important it thank is. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Melvin. That's, that's absolutely right. Um, we use these funds to recruit and retain. Um, we lost over the last two years, at least three players. Um, again, remember I started this conversation being completely honest, the, the NCAA recruiting landscape has changed. And so we have to become very competitive in this particular area. They love Coach Jones. We have kids who want to come play out, but when somebody else calls them and can offer them more, they sometimes will go that way. Now, I can say this, as long as you can chime in, if they start the conversation off with NIL, what do we typically do, Jonah? Yeah, so that's, that's a non-starter for me because I do think while this is a part of the landscape, uh, I am as concerned about the people that we bring into our program because I do think, I believe in sport and virtue. Who says to be, just because you're a good ball player, you have to be a terrible person? Uh, and, and it's our goal to win championships, and you win championship with good people. We don't recruit bums, and we're gonna, they're going to be talented ball players. Uh, but that, but I do think there's a certain level of humility. There's a certain level of having your priorities in order because at the end of the day, we are in the higher education, and I'm trying to carve out a niche where we are still educating our young people uh, while coaching good people, winning championships, and all. Yeah, that's good, but I want good people. And and so for me, it sends off red flags. I give you an example. Had a kid I was recruiting from um, um, Lamar, who we uh, transferred in from Lamar. That last question I wanted, to uh, our NIO collective, I wanted to make sure I got all of those questions. Yeah. Hey, you say what, see? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we, we can hear you. I can. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a story about a kid from Lamar. Uh, the first 10 seconds of the conversation, coach, I'm going to need me a car. Uh, I'm going to need an apartment off campus. I'm going to need a big old bag. I got a fiance. You got to get her a job. Uh, and I said, well, it, it, it has nothing to do with about getting education and want to impact winning. Uh, and so that was red flag. So we're not selling our soul to give the these kids the highest amount. Uh, uh, but I'm very particular. I'm very particular on who we add to our program. And Edwin, were you responding to a question in the chat? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Is it the one, uh, is the minimum buy-in for any aspect of NIL $2,000? That's the question. Yes. That is the question. The answer is yes. For men's basketball, we're asking that we start at $2,000. Okay. Just want to be clear. I got a, I got Eric Watson. Eric Watson, I see you, baby. I, 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 I jotted your number down. Uh, that's a kid that goes way back. He remember I used to coach at uh, his high school's camp, and and I think he was on my team a couple of times. But that's I'm glad to see you, Eric. Good to see you, brother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Melvin, um, I don't see any more questions in the chat. Right. And and the thing uh, we want to be um, clear about and make sure that those who 
showed up today and are you know sincerely interested and in, and in see a real opportunity from a business standpoint and then also uh, to support uh, the program uh, we want to make sure you know what the next step is and to be clear uh coach edwin is that the, the two qr codes we see on the screen they need they yes that is yes. correct it's the qr code that you see on the screen if you click that um and again we can get that to you uh melvin and or raquel um and i'll put my cell phone number on there for anybody who got any specific questions um, I do see one last question that popped up. It says, can you describe some options at the $2,000 level, uh, i.e., can you come to an event or video, not with our product. We actually are promoting the business's product. So it would be the product of whoever the business is. The answer is yes, we do, we do all of that. Now, what that looks like, that's part of the conversation you have with our NIL director, Mike Holm, in that 30-minute 30, 30 consultation process before anything is financially exchanged. Mm -hmm. then, it, then I see one more question. Yeah, Are there opportunities for our business to provide service to the team or organization? Um, I, that would, again, be a separate question that we can answer once we started that process. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Did anybody else have Anything at all? You want to come off mute and uh, if you have anything. Okay, well, we're going to see um, what we can produce, you know, from, from this activity in terms of interest and people actually taking the next step, uh, you know, what, what the action is to really be involved in this and then uh, when I find out what chamber members have gone to the next level, um, we're definitely going to uh, applaud and celebrate those those businesses and those business owners. Miss um, Day yeah. asked, Melvin, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Miss Day asked for the QR code to go back up one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I know Raquel is like, oh, this is funny. Okay, yeah. So, okay. Hey, guys. Hey. Um, you know, I, I think it was good because now more people know specifically what the opportunity is and then they can share it with others. Um, right. And then uh, we want to make right. sure that this this QR code information is available, too. So so we will we'll see about how we can kind of keep yep. this, you know, keep access to this. You know, yeah, that that, that that's very important uh, as we as we continue. But hey, that that's all that um that that I have. Um, you know, okay. any any other uh, comments, uh, anything um, as we close. Um, by all means, take the opportunity. When, when well, I just want to say thank you all again for having us. Uh, you'll be able to reach me, uh, literally by my cell phone number. By the time we get this information out to you, because it'll be on the email. All right. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Melvin. Thank you, um, our, our Raquel and Coach C. And I appreciate your time. And when when does the season start? <laughs> season starts November fourth. Uh, we have home gate home game. We don't know who our opponent is. It's in the Sun Belt okay. Mac Challenge, um, but we're finalizing a couple of um, games with Auburn and Kentucky, and we probably gonna get one more big dog that we're gonna try to get on our schedule. Um, so we're trying to lay it out so our guys can have a great experience while also <laughs> trying to win some games at the same time. Uh, okay, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, we, we we plan to come out. You know, please do. Yeah, I'm about to say, please come on now. We need y'all right. to help us fill this uh, brand new three-year-old, I shouldn't say brand new, three-year-old arena out. 7,500 nice. seats in there. Let's go. Yeah, it, it, it's nice. Uh, so it's going to be cool to see uh, some, some real examples from the ABC um, in terms of folks marketing and promotions you know with the uh you know the athletes and all that that that's gonna be really cool and so we're gonna we're gonna be looking out for that okay thank you guys all right thank you all so very much all right go panthers sorry thank y'all for your patience
Okay, everybody, enjoy the rest of this Wednesday. Weather is nice. Take advantage of this weather. Before it gets too hot. See y'all soon somewhere.